Hi Ratna Rimba, thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments and we'll get back to you. Have you played Rimba the card game before? Did you know that Rimba is an acronym in Bahasa Malaysia for R. Reptilia, reptiles. I. Ikan, which is fish. Mammalia, M. For mammals. Burung, B. Bird, N. Amphibia, which is amphibians. So, all these guys, they are vertebrates, which means they are animals that have backbones like you and me. In today's session, we'll be focusing on the reptiles. Reptiles represent a large group of animals. In Rimba, we have the leatherback sea turtle, river terrapin, reticulated python, and the estuarian crocodile. Some of their names give you a clue as to where they live. If you look around, sometimes we can find one common reptile in our house too. I have some here. Yes, you got it. It's the house lizard. You can also find reptiles in the garden. And sometimes you'll find some uncommon species, usually in the wild. Reptiles are different from other animals because they have scaly dry skin. They lay leathery eggs and are cold-blooded. When we say that reptiles are cold-blooded, that does not mean that they are always cold. Being cold-blooded means that their body depends on the temperature where they are. For example, when the sun sets at night, everything around the reptile becomes cold, so their body becomes cooler. When the sun is out, their bodies become warmer. That is why you can see crocodiles, lizards, and iguanas sunbathe. So, during a hot day, if a reptile wants to cool down, it will move into the water or in a nice shady burrow. Crocodiles have the best life. They tend to float at the surface and so their body is half in and half out. How about the skin? One way to tell if an animal that you're looking at is a reptile or an amphibian is by looking at their skin. Reptiles' scaly skin is dry and waterproof, which means water will roll off its scales. That's why when they get out from the water, their skin can easily dry up and they can now roam around on dry land. Their skin can be rough or smooth, dull or shiny, but never slimy. If you see an animal that looks like a snake or a lizard that has wet slimy skin, then you're probably looking at an amphibian instead of a reptile. Almost all reptiles lay eggs, although some give birth to live young. If you've ever seen birds' eggs, like chicken eggs, you might realize that their eggs are quite hard. But this is not the case for reptile eggs. Reptile eggs are soft and leathery. Unlike amphibians, reptiles lay their eggs on land. Even reptiles that spend most of their time in the water, like the estuarine crocodile and the leatherback sea turtle, will lay their eggs on dry land. The leatherback sea turtle climbs up on a beach where it was born and makes a hole using their flippers. She lays her eggs and covers them up with the sand. Reptiles do not raise their young, so when the hatchlings come out, they follow the moon towards the ocean. Now that you know the characteristics of reptiles, let's learn about some local reptiles that can be found in Malaysia. First of all, we have the estuarine crocodile. Did you know the estuarine crocodile is the largest reptile in the world? They can grow up to 9 meters long. Imagine 9 guitars placed top to bottom in one straight line. That's about the size of a mature adult estuarine crocodile. They're so big, they can even eat a buffalo. Estuarine crocodiles will usually build their nest on land and lay all their eggs and are very aggressive to protect their nest. Then we have the reticulated python. Do you know the reticulated python is the longest snake in the world? Look at the pattern on their skin. Very unique, right? This pattern helps them hide from animals that want to eat them and ambush the animals they want to eat. The squirrel would not have seen it coming. Reticulated pythons don't have any ears like us but they have an organ called the columella. This columella helps them feel the vibrations on the ground. So if the animal they want to eat is nearby, the reticulated python can sense them and will strike and strangle, then squash it and swallow it whole. Next is the leatherback sea turtle. Do you know that the leatherback sea turtle is the largest sea turtle in the world? Turtles have front and back flippers, so they swim by moving their flippers. Their flippers are so strong, they can dive as deep as 1,200 meters below the surface and can stay underwater for up to 85 minutes. Wow, that's a really long time. 
So they swim to travel long distances, making them the largest distributed reptile in the world. Isn't that amazing? The last reptile I'm going to show you is the river terrapin. Some people might not know much about this reptile. They can swim in large rivers, mangroves, and sometimes in salt water too. So when they want to lay eggs, they find sandy banks near the river or beaches, and they eat river grass, mangrove fruit, and fish. And they have really sharp teeth. We do have some cool reptiles in Malaysia. Do you have a favorite reptile yet? Tell us in the comments, and thank you for joining us. If you like this session, you can watch it again, click the like button, and share it with your friends. Bye!